We now have three nude figures because Don Quixote, um, having Cervantes uh, been a very um, important author of the what we call the picaresca, which is like we could say, I don't know, picaresca would be something like picaresque, um, where you have the element of the erotic and the naughty, uh, the sinful the lustful in Spanish society, he introduces this element within Don Quixote. And we have three paintings. The first one I did was Maritornes. Maritornes is meant to be with a uh, flat nose, slightly cross-eyed, uh, kind of blind in one, um, fat, with unruly hair, very broad, rough manners, um, but however, nevertheless, she awakens uh, lust in Don Quixote, who has made um, an, an oath and a pledge of um, celibacy in honor of his beloved Dulcinea. I decided not to paint Dulcinea uh, on this occasion. I might in the future, in the near future, but for this occasion I decided to focus on Maritornes because Maritornes is the ultra, um, the uber um, erotical, erotic uh, figure, character. Uh, and here comes a point that I find very important. To be erotic you don't have to be Beautiful. You don't have to be within the standards of what is aesthetically perfect. Meritornes awakens this uh, desire in almost every man. And the best example is that she awakens it in Don Quixote. She is there placidly sleeping after having produced all this turmoil with the Santo Oficio, the Holy Office, wandering around the inn and looking for the culprits of such a, an upheaval.